So you probably notice when you read documents about war, when you read documents about dinosaurs or history, there's always AD and BC. So what do those mean? So AD is Anno Domini, which means the year of our Lord. So when they say AD, they're talking about after the birth of Christ. When, they're, when they say BC, it means before the birth of Christ. Now, this is the reason why, okay? So in the 16th century, when the Romans were um, kind of big during that era, they wanted one place in time to start because you cannot measure time unless you have one moment in time to start. And they had multiple moments. But the one moment that won was by a monk named Dionysus, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta breathe there. I talk so long without taking a breath. So essentially, they were like, we liked his concept and it, was, and it became very popular. Now he's the one that developed BC and AD. That's pretty wild, eh? Now, I know some people don't like the religious undertones of all this kind of stuff, but like, when you think about it, man, yo, this man went viral when it wasn't even like, there was no internet. And, and his concept became the most widely used. That's amazing. Like, let's just appreciate that. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm currently working on a video where we talk about the oldest civilizations on earth, okay? And I know when I make that, people are gonna ask me, wait, what, what, what does AD and BC mean? Because people think AD usually means after the death of Christ. It doesn't. <laughs> so, love you guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next video and this is Wing signing out.